Hey folks, Bronco Bear here. Got another reaction figure for you. These are made by Funko and Super 7. Today we're looking at Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, this is the figure I was really looking forward to in this whole line. Uh, he was the one I saw and I was like, I have to have him. But, you know, obviously all the other figures are really amazing too. But I love the Creature. Uh, I love this character uh, before I even saw the movie. When I was just a little kid, I just loved how he looked. Uh, but then I saw the film, and I was like, this guy is a creep. I mean, he's, uh, this maybe hundred thousand year old, you know, creature, just a freak of nature. Uh, I, I guess, you know, he's a decent guy when there's no hot chicks around, but, uh, this guy is just, uh, he's a voyeur. I mean, he didn't just, you know... Uh, you know, just kill the girl as soon as he saw her. He was like, no, I just kind of want to swim underneath her and check her out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> i just never seen a Universal Monster film where the character was just kind of a pervert, you know. Uh, I guess he, he couldn't even handle it. Eventually he had to, uh, you know, make contact and, you know, he had to try to get her. But, uh, <laughs> he's just a real dude, you know. Uh... He's not like an innocent, you know, fishman. He's, he's just, he's got needs, you know. He's got these amphibious, perverted needs, and I think that's just really interesting, you know. Uh, he's, he's no charmer, man. Just look at him. Look at this guy right here. He just, ah, oh, you know. He, he probably doesn't even look like that when he's not looking at a cute brunette. But uh, all right, folks. Uh, <laughs> enough of that. I just, I just had to say that. I think it's really funny. I'll probably say it some more too, but. Uh, it looks really great in packaging. Uh, one thing I noticed later on is uh, that's him right there, uh, you know, swimming uh, behind the creature from the Black Lagoon uh, logo. Uh, he's probably checking her out too, <laughs> and that's him uh, checking her out again. Uh, it's kind of a scratch right here on my uh, card, but uh, all right. The back, uh, as you guys have seen before, it just shows uh, the other characters that come in this series one. Uh, relive the exciting action of Universal Monsters with authentically detailed reaction figures. Funko and Soup 7, love you guys. But, uh, alright, uh, let, let's open this creepo. Uh, alright, man, I hate opening these sometimes, but I feel like it'll just never look as pretty as it did before. Keep on saying, oh, I have other ones that I'll buy, and, you know, those will stay on card, but, uh, who am I kidding? Oh man, this is really crappy. I hate when I when this happens. I just wish the card would come off. Oh man, jeez, look at that, folks. Jeez, hate when this happens. <laughs> Whatever. But this guy in the background. Jeez, creature. Just because I'm not a chick, you're giving me a hard time. All right. <laughs> Whoa, he feels different than the other dudes. Oh man, instantly I feel he's he's kind of he's very scaly, but he's kind of sharp, you know. He's feel serrated, and he's I don't know. He feels a little light, like a little bit lighter than the other guys, but uh, he just feels like he's made out of a different kind of plastic. But it feels cool. It feels unique, you know. Uh, I got the other dudes right here. I got uh, got the you know Wolfman and uh, Frankenstein, and uh, you know they feel very smooth glossy and you know a little a little bit mad this guy just feels kind of you know uh he feels kind of hollow actually i don't know why uh it's just he's got so much texture maybe that's what's happening right now he's just he's just got so much texture just look at the sculpt though man they really went to town they could have made him smooth and it would have been decent but uh they just you know sculpted all of this his fins and this little stomach thing happening there i don't really I don't really know what's going on there, but uh, this figure looks amazing. I don't know if there's too much happening in the background for the camera to handle. But uh, yeah, he's, the fins look great. Uh, I'm just going to put these figures to the side and once uh, again move the backdrop. Cause, man, it's not really a backdrop, it's more of a stage. <laughs> but uh, alright, I think you'll have a better time uh, focusing like it usually does. But man, look at this. Man, I'm just in awe of this figure. He looks beautiful. You see his face, man. They really captured him just looking like a creep. Oh, man, they went to town on his fins right here. Wow. 
Damn it, Funko, Super 7. You really nailed this sucker, man. He's got these fins galore. Look at all the sculpting on this guy. He's just amazing, full of texture, detail, bigger scales right here. I think this is the only uh, reaction figure that can't really hold anything, because, come on, it's it's the creature. He's got to have these things open, you know. Just, these look great. Oh, man. It would have been kind of funny if he just had regular hands, but they were kind of webbed. He could hold, like, swords and guns. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he just feels so much different. Like, if I just grab Frankenstein. Frankenstein's heavier. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, grab, uh, you know, T-800, Terminator, you know, definitely heavy figures. But, uh, man, it's... Love this figure. I love the the green that they chose. It's, it looks makes the figure look even more vintage. You know, uh, they gotten a kind of what is he? He's kind of a darker green, isn't he? But uh, man, I'm really excited to have this figure. Uh, he just looks really great. Got some yellow eyes, and his, they paint inside his mouth. Man. They really want to town. This feels like a vintage figure. It's just kind of light, and you know the the qu the quality that they put in is just amazing. But the quality that they, I guess they left out to make it look more vintage is it was a perfect amount. You know, you know what really kind of surprises me about these uh, reaction figures is they uh, they really uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, this is one thing I kind of want to bring up that I think is kind of weird. It says adult collectible, not a toy, and then it says age 14 plus. I think it's kind of interesting that they really want to emphasize that. I mean, I think you could give this to a, like, a, you know, a kid, you know, you could play with it. There's no small parts or anything. I mean, are they saying that this could get, you know, you could swallow this? I mean, geez, that would be horrible. These things are just so sharp. It'd be like a, like a fish hook or something. Well, you know, whatever. I, I guess, you know, the majority of the people are going to be buying these are, you know, adult collectors and whatnot. But, uh, oh man, this this figure is really great. He's a little sharp, though. That's the weird part. But, uh, I, you know, I'm just going to continue saying the same stuff. Great figure. Uh, probably my favorite so far. I really do like that Frankenstein. Ah, I quite. Ah, getting all tongue tied just because I'm a little, uh, a little overwhelmed by how cool this guy is. Uh, alright buddy, uh, it's a little Gil Hill right here, you know, he's just kind of a, kind of a creep, but, uh, hey, we all love him, right? Uh, I was happy to get this for 10 when I went to, uh, Son of Monster Palooza, the guy wanted 15, he says that this guy's gonna be the most popular figure out of this whole Funko Universal Monsters line. Now, do you guys agree with that? I, I don't know, I don't really agree, uh, I think Gil is a real popular dude, but I don't know if maybe Frankenstein will be... Maybe uh, Invisible Man will be more uh, desired. Uh, there's also a uh, uh, glow-in-the-dark version of this guy. He was probably like a San Diego Con 2014 exclusive. But uh, Alright folks, uh, let's keep on going on and on. Love the figure. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. This guy is so great. Uh, and his articulation, you know, standard for all the other figures. But uh, he's, he feels kind of... There's just nothing at all stiff about them and I think that's great but uh, alright folks uh, have a good one